Good evening and welcome from the Chapel of the Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd here in Jacksonville, Florida. This is yet another attempt of trying to stay connected virtually. We tend to gather every Wednesday night for either Holy Eucharist or evening prayer. And tonight, we carry forth faithfully with evening prayer. If you want to follow along in the Book of Common Prayer, this is right to found on page 150. Grace to you and peace from God, from our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. Yours is the day, O God, yours also the night. You established the moon and the sun. You fixed all the boundaries of the earth. You made both summer and winter. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we, we confess that we have sinned sin against you in thought, word, and deed, by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved you with our whole heart. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you. Forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness. And by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in everlasting life. Amen. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to, to the, the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the world. The psalm is Psalm 40, beginning with verse 5, found on page 100, 640 in the prayer book. Great things are they that you have done, O Lord my God. How great your wonders and your plans for us. There is none who can be compared with you. Oh, that I could make them known and tell them. But they are more than I can count. In sacrifice and offering, you take no pleasure. You have given me ears to hear you. Burnt offering and sin offering, you have not required. And so I said, Behold, I come. In the roll of the book, it is written concerning me. I love to do your will, O oh my God. Your law is deep in my heart. I proclaimed righteousness in the great congregation. Behold, I did not restrain my lips, and that, O oh Lord, you know. Your righteousness have I not hidden in my heart. I have spoken of your faithfulness and your deliverance. I have not concealed your love and faithfulness from the great congregation. Glory be to the Father, and, and to, to the, the Son, and, and to, to the Holy Spirit. Spirit. As, as it, it was, was in the, the beginning, beginning, is now, now and, and will be forever. Amen. Amen. A reading from Isaiah. Again the Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, 
Ask a sign of the Lord your God. Let it be deep as Sheol and or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask, and I will not put the Lord to the test. Then Isaiah said, Hear then, O house of David, is it too little for you to weary mortals that you weary my God also? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you a sign. Look, the young woman is with child and shall bear a son and shall name him Emmanuel. Here ends the reading. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day, all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel for he has remembered his promise of mercy. The promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from Hebrews. It is impossible for the blood of bulls and goats to take away sins. Consequently, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired, but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offerings and sin offerings you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, See God, I have come to do your will, O God. In the scroll of the book it is written of me, when he said above, you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings, for these are offered according to the law. Then he added, see, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And it is by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. Here ends the reading. Lord, you now have set your servant free to go in peace as you have promised. For these eyes of mine have seen the Savior whom you have prepared for all the world to see, a light to enlighten the nations and the glory of your people, Israel. Glory to the Father and, and to, to the, the Son and, and to the Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit, as, as it, it was in the beginning, beginning is, is now, now and, and will, will be forever. forever. Amen. Amen. I believe in God, the, the Father, Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He, he will come, come again, again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy Your name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Suffrages B on page 122. That this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful. We entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in paths of peace and goodwill. We entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses. We entreat you, O Lord, that there may be peace to your church and to the whole world. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may depart this life in your faith and fear, and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ. We entreat you, O Lord, that we may be bound together in your Holy Spirit, in the communion of the Blessed Virgin Mary, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, our Lord. O God, the life of all who live, the light of the faithful, the strength of those who labor, and the repose of the dead. We thank you for the blessings of the day that is past and humbly ask for your protection through the coming night. Bring us in safety to the morning hours through him who died and rose for us, your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Pour your grace into our hearts, O Lord, that we who have known the incarnation of your Son, Jesus Christ, announced by an angel to the Virgin Mary, may by his cross and passion be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night and give your angels charge over those who sleep tend the sick lord christ give rest to the weary bless the dying soothe the suffering pity the afflicted shield the joyous all for your love's sake amen, amen. we pray for peace throughout the world. We pray for our companion diocese of Cuba and Peru, especially for our companion parish, Church of the Annunciation, Florida, Cuba. We pray for those in need of healing, strength, or guidance, especially for Linda Kendrick, Joyce Norville, Harry, Penny Updike, Kathleen Jordan, Ann Ahison, Sven, the Wood family, David and Kitty Beacon, Gail Dunn, Thomas, Ken, Ven, and Maria Vung, Arlene, Art Jeanette, Marco, Patricia Lee, E.G. Newsom, Susan Fazio, Mark Fletcher, Julie Cannon, Judy Martin, Dorothy, Ellen, Shirley Walters, Gunnar Miller, Betsy Miller. 
We pray for those who have died, especially Hugh Tobias and his family who mourn him, Sarah, and for Curtis, Sue, and her family who mourn her, for Isla Davis and her family who mourn her. May their souls, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. We pray for all who are serving in our armed forces and intelligence services, both at home and abroad, especially for Zachary, Caleb, Brooker, Bennett, Charlie, Rich, Eric, Katie, Bradley, Thomas, Jonathan, Channing, and Warren. We give thanks for the birthdays being celebrated this week. Martha Davis, Kirby Griffin, Mary Price Pickett, and we pray for the human family in the midst of this pandemic. This hour we turn to you, O oh Lord, in full knowledge of our frailty and vulnerability and our great need as your mortal creatures. We cry to you as one human family, unsure of the path ahead, unequal to the unseen forces about us, frightened by the sickness and death that seem all too real to us now. Stir up your strength and visit us, O oh Lord. Be our shield and our rock, our hiding place, our inspiration. Guide our leaders, our scientists, our nurses, our doctors, our health care givers. Give them patience and wisdom and protection and fill their hearts with courage and determination. Make even this hour, O oh Lord, a season of blessing for us, that in fear we might find you mighty to save, and in illness or death we find the cross none other than to be the way of life. All this we ask in the name of the one who bore all our infirmities, Jesus Christ, our risen and victorious Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you this hour.